Well, welcome to a very expectant Senegal here for the second leg of the FIFA World Cup African Zone playoff qualifier between the two sides that went head to head only a couple of months ago in the final of the Africa Cup of Nations. However, it's Egypt this time who hold the advantage over their hosts after a first leg win in Cairo on Friday. Now, though, the home advantage is very much with the West African champions of Africa. We are at the Stade Mo Mbalai Wade in Diam Nadio in Dakar. We're just outside, around about 30 kilometers inland from the capital peninsula in a place that was built in the space of two years. It has 50,000 capacity. It was only opened in February and it could see Senegal going to the World Cup here if they can overturn a 1-0 deficit from that first leg right the way up there on the north of the African continent. It couldn't be closer. It is on a knife edge. We could well need extra time, maybe even penalties. That's exactly what was needed between these two sides at the beginning of February in the final of the Africa Cup of Nations. That match ended nil-nil. If this one ends nil-nil, then Egypt are on their way to Qatar in November. It is a fascinating knife edge of a second leg that we have waiting for us here in this lovely stadium in a city that is being grown by the uh, president to try and take the pressure off of the capital which obviously surrounded by sea on three sides has certain constraints to its growth so this is the place where Senegal sees its future and Qatar is where it sees its footballing future it's a beautiful day the uh, sun is overhead a little bit of wind is rolling in off the Atlantic Ocean the first leg well, it didn't quite go the way we thought in the first half. Egypt came out roaring. Not really what we're used to seeing from a very defensively cagey side, which is the way they played pretty much the whole of the Africa Cup of Nations before taking on Senegal, who finally got the better of them in a final that, uh, well, wasn't a classic, but it did have a classic end with a new name on the trophy. Within the lines of Taranga, head into this return leg, looking to overturn a slender deficit incurred after last Friday's 1-0 defeat in the first leg. Prior to Friday's loss in the Egyptian capital, Senegal were unbeaten in 13 straight games in all competitions, a run that included them lifting their first ever AFCON title at the expense of Egypt. Now back on home soil, where they haven't lost in nearly three years, Alou Cisse's Senegal's side should be confident of overturning that uh, deficit to their host, their guests. Both sides looking to qualify for back-to-back -back World Cup finals. Burrows gaining a measure of revenge so far for that final defeat. There's more at stake here than just mere revenge for the Egyptians. Both nations looking to overcome the final hurdle in the chase to be among Africa's five representatives at the World Cup Finals. To do that, though, they have to get through this playoff. One of five playoffs taking place today. Both sides enjoying unbeaten runs through the group stages and are now looking to pick up where they left off, strengthen their chances of that ticket to Qatar. Of that good form though now means nothing it's do or die time in a one-match shootout and one of Africa's best sides will not be invited to be at the seat of international football's top table come this World Cup in November World Cup in November will be uh, pretty much the first global tournament that hasn't had to uh, reschedule because of COVID-19 although of course it's played havoc with the qualifying uh, schedule and after Egypt's first leg win last Friday, Senegal have the home advantage for this leg. All to play for. With these two sides looking to be amongst the 32 nations that head to Qatar. The last World Cup finals to host 32 teams before the global centrepiece expand to 48 teams for the next World Cup in 2026. Just to remind you as well, the draw will take place on the 1st of April. It's in just three days' time. 
for the first World Cup to be held in the Middle East. By that time, Africa will know which countries will be heading to Qatar in seven months' time. Egypt have the slight advantage in the head-to-head. -head. Seven wins to Senegal's five. A couple of draws. Mohamed Salah was at the heart of the 1-0 win in Cairo. He goes up against his Liverpool teammate again, Sadio Mane. And Cissé knows the pressure is on him. A man who has taken Senegalese football from the doldrums and sent them up to be one of the best teams in the world. They are a good 20-plus places above Egypt in the FIFA rankings, although I bet they don't feel that way at the moment. Particularly as they're trailing by one goal to nil. So then the team's beginning to gather in the tunnel. The crowd whipping themselves up into a frenzy already. Just like we had from the home fans for Egypt, and a number of them have made the trip to try and bring a little bit of Faro magic and try and see their side over the line. So here we go then. Referees leading the two teams. Out onto this magnificent new arena. Diam Niadio, a new home to the Senegal national team. Will this be a lucky World Cup baptism for them? Mane knows the pressure is on him tonight. All in white, well, white tops tonight for uh, the home side after being all in green. The uh, Egyptians will, as usual, be in red and black. So then. Almost feels like the World Cup is here already. This is knockout football at its very best. The champions of Africa against the team they beat to win their first title. A slender deficit needs to be wiped out. They will be trying to hold their nerves as we get ready for the national anthems. The uh, Egyptian national anthem barely getting above the uh, boos and jeers from the home crowd. Expect a passionate rendition now of the Senegalese national anthem.
Egypt and Senegal are two of the ten countries in the African zone, gunning to be amongst the five to represent Africa in this year's COVID-19 delayed World Cup in Qatar, scheduled now to be held later in the year in November and December. All but one of the ten into the last stage of Africa's World Cup qualifiers also went to January's Africa Cup of Nations. The only ones that didn't were the Democratic Republic of Congo. Senegal were the team that won that title. Here is the team that will be trying to take them to the World Cup as well. And three changes made by Aliou Cisse from that 1-0 defeat in Cairo. At the back, Pap Abu Cisse comes in alongside Kalidou Koulibaly. Whilst up front... Yusuf Sabali, who didn't go to the Africa Cup of Nations, comes into the midfield. Expect him to go down the right-hand side. And Boulay Dia comes in up front as well, with Sadio Mane, we think, dropping into a number 10 role behind the two strikers, Ismaili Saar and Dia. Mustafa Gural of Algeria is our referee this afternoon, stroke this evening. Koulibaly and Salah shake hands as they did in Cairo just before the weekend. Not quite sure who won the, uh, the toss there. So then, Egypt, four changes being made here by Carlos Kiros. At the back, two new Centre Maxers Yasser Ibrahim and Rami Rabia come in to replace Abdel Manam, who has concussion, and Mohamed Atia, who's suspended. Ahmed Fatou comes in on the left of defence, whilst up front Omar Mamouche, who came on in the second half of the first leg, replaces Mustafa Mah Mohamed. Keraj, who comes, I think, looking for Ali Cisse. He wasn't in the final of the Africa Cup of Nations, suspended for that, so he got to meet the Senegalese legend in the first leg in Cairo. How will Egypt start this one? Like they did in Cairo, kick-off. Well, the whistle's gone. Kickoff is made and Egypt in red and black kickoff, kicking from right to left in this first half. A 1 0 lead thanks to the fourth minute own goal by Salyu Cisse in Cairo. And already here comes Senegal forward. Bounassar, the Bayern Munich right back trying to get the ball across. No way through for Sadio Mane. Do we have our first corner? No, we might even have a free kick. Crunching tackle. Coming in from Rami Rabia, in for Mohamed Atia at centre back, but coming out to try and help out his full back. And getting his challenge slightly wrong. Salu Cis, who scored the only goal at the wrong end in the first leg, is the man who has earned his side a free kick, but he's not yet off the ground after the challenge. Carlos Queiroz was um, quoted as saying that he's amongst the 10 best coaches in the world in midweek. I would imagine that was probably in response to some rather aggressive questioning. I think I spotted Augustine Senghor there, Senegalese Football Federation president, 
who must be uh, crossing his fingers like everybody else here inside this stadium that uh, his side can come back. So then, free kick. Maybe Senegal are trying to wait for the four-minute part. It would be some poetic justice if they was to score in the fourth minute. Drissa Gay on the right-hand side, the Paris Saint-Germain midfielder. Looking quite keen to take this. Sadio Mane uh, might well be uh, pulling rank on him. Carlos Queiroz is going to spend another 87 and a half minutes nervously wondering what one of the best attacks in world football can come up with. Took them a while to get going in the group stage of the AFCON, but they got going in the knockout stages, became very potent. What can they do here? In it comes then, towards the goal, and it's a charge and in! And exactly the same minute that Senegal went behind in the first leg, they have come back to level it up in the second through Boulay Dia. It was scrappy, like the goal in Cairo was, but they won't care. They will not care. And the Villarreal man comes in and immediately has an impact. Was not the best ball out. And the centre forward poaching an opener. And we are already level. Senegal 1, Egypt 0. It is 1 1 on aggregate. Now, what are they going to do with their pre match tactics and strategies? Boulay Dia didn't score at all in the Africa Cup of Nations. But he could have scored an enormous goal here. Well, if the atmosphere was frenetic earlier, it is absolutely lifting this stadium off the foundations now. Edouard Mendy, the Chelsea Champions League winner, European Champions League, that is. Distributes the ball out to Ismail Assar. Now, how does this change? How this match plans out? And Senegal are coming forward again, looking for the jugular. Cleared by Amir El Sulaya. Same player brings down a Senegal player and gives their way a free kick. Another well, glum looking Egyptian bench. Down goes Adrissa Gay. He won't get the uh, assist Adrissa Gay for that delivery from the free kick because it was a clearance by an Egyptian player. That was the last before the goal was scored. But nevertheless, he was certainly right at the heart of that goal with a beautiful delivery. Trezeguet is on the deck. And you see, see, all in white there, being separated from Carlos Queiroz. And uh, I think the fourth official is going to have his work cut out. Sakwe, Dia, El Sayad. Already getting involved with Carlos Queiroz right in front of play, and he's clearly outside his technical area. The passions are so high here. Fourth official trying to get uh, the Portuguese tactician back inside his technical area. Who 
forward by Ahmed Fatou. Senegal, though, coming back once more. Another free kick. Well, many complaining. Stadio Mane saying that that was a stamp. Nice piece of skill by the Watford man to provoke the challenge. It's not the most dangerous area here. A little way out and right in the middle of the park will make uh, the delivery a little bit difficult. Yes, of course, Patricia Gay fancies it from distance. No, he takes it. And there we go. There's the problem. It's hard to get that whip into the area when you're going too vertically down the pitch. Mohamed Salah, who uh, provoked the goal in uh, Cairo with his shot that was saved onto the bar by Edouard Mendy and then uh, hit the unfortunate Salih Cis. Well, that same player, number two for Senegal, earned the foul that has got Senegal back into this tie. one second into the fourth minute and that is a uh, foul for Egypt this time Ahmed Fetu lumped up into the air and Egypt's uh, bench again are getting upset well we saw this in the Africa Cup of Nations as well they live on their nerves Huge pressure on Egypt. And a team that have dominated the continent over the years, but didn't uh, match up that dominance with trips to the World Cup. Oh, that's a mistake. And Mohamed Salah, that is not what you do to the uh, Premier League top scorer. However, Senegal rescue things. Bright sunshine on that far side of the pitch. Boulay Deer, the goal scorer, heading past Omar Gaber and keeping the ball in as well. Former Rand striker in France before heading off to the Liga in Spain. Roma, who headed, who was the home for Mohamed Salah a while back before he headed north to Liverpool where he has become an absolute legend a world star what a signing he was and of course with Sadio Mane and Roberto Firmino one of the most dangerous strike forces in the whole of world football at club level Senegal on the attack once more good tackle though comes in from Gebert again though they lose possession in midfield Salusis, but he's feeling better about that own goal in the first leg now. The referee has blown, I think it might have gone out. Breathless start to the game. It was a breathless start as well to the first leg, but in that one it was Egypt that unexpectedly came out of the blocks roaring. Magnificent half of football, I don't think I've ever seen them play so dynamically. Once they were 1-0 in front, they didn't just stop either, they kept going. In the second half, they reverted to type a little bit more. That's a lovely ball forward. Beautifully taken as well by Salah. However, he was being flanked by two defenders, and that's a rugged challenge. By Omar El Salaya. Coming right the way through the midfielder, Nampales Mendy. Salaya, they certainly uh, got to know each other in the final of the Africa Cup of Nations as well, up against each other in a robust final. And the Egyptian midfielder is uh, still down.
Well, the home fans are in full voice. 12 minutes gone, Senegal in front, they're on top. They've got themselves right back in the tie early on, which will allay some nerves, and they're playing with confidence. Sabali turns back inside of Trezeguet. Lovely, Bounassar left-footed into the middle. He can pass with either foot. There's a mad scramble in the box again. And Egypt somehow managed to get the ball out. Senegal come again, though. And uh, Mohamed El Shanawi gratefully falls on the door and seems to have been injured by a bottle, or rather a bag of water. There are things being thrown. Well, he's holding onto his thigh, it actually hit him on the calf. Did well not to give away the corner. <laughs> the referee is going to have his hands full with this one. <laughs> and the fourth official has literally got his hands full with Carlos Queiroz. We're underway again. Mohamed Salah trying to race onto it. Omar Mamouche shot over the top. And the man who did well when he came on in the second half in the first leg, but uh, their uh, tactics had changed by the time he came on. The man who plays his club football in Stuttgart, 23 years old. It's gone out harmlessly enough for a uh, throw-in. Boy, did we miss this kind of atmosphere when COVID was keeping grounds empty. And even now in the Confederations Cup, in the Confederation Cup and the Champions League, we're seeing grounds that are still empty. But here we have 50,000 inside the stadium. And Omar Mamouche is furious with anybody who will listen after bringing down Idrissa Gay. Shanawi lining up his wall, 15 minutes gone. Senegal 1, Egypt 0. They're looking for better. Shot from distance. Oh, my word. And. Uh, they're going to need the stretcher. Well, that did not look good. A real drive. I can't actually see who it is. Alu Cisse getting a little bit of a tactical talk by Alu Cisse. Man who took Senegal to the World Cup in 2002 for their most glorious moment probably to date when they beat France, the defending champions in the Far East. Now he's become the first coach to win Senegal's first ever trophy at the Africa Cup of Nations. And now trying to take them back to the World Cup. If he manages it, he'll be the first to do it as a, a player and a coach, and of course he was the captain of that side as well in 2002. I think we're OK again, which is a relief. So we will see... I think a drop ball. <laughs> Even the drop ball is contested. <laughs> Wow, you can see the pressure. You can just see it. Ali Cisse, though, keeping it calm and measured on the uh, touchline. 
Senegal have lost three of their last 37 World Cup qualifiers. Going back to a 3-2 defeat to Algeria back in 2008. Then at Ivory Coast in 2013. Unbeaten in 15 qualifiers since that Ivory Coast defeat. And another Egyptian has gone down. This time... Free kick to Egypt. And Lenny takes it quickly. Trezeguet. Trezeguet trying to get to the byline, and it's good defending. And it's nice to see a little bit of uh, Bonami as well between the two players. It's amazing these two have played each other now three times in two months, and each of those games has been huge. Final of the Africa Cup of Nations, playoff for the World Cup. The stakes so high in all of these games between these two giants of African football. Senegal at the moment, the highest ranked in the FIFA rankings, 20th. It was 64 when uh, that man there, who's just flashed through your frame, Ali Cisse, took over in 2015. They had not exactly lit up the continent in competition. He, though, has set an enormously solid foundation and has brought sparkle as well to them. It's obviously helped that he's got a nice golden generation of players coming through, but he's using them ever so well. Egypt don't really have so many major stars, with the very notable exception of their number 10. Oh, El Shanawi wasn't quite on the same wavelength there as his defenders, and they seem to be not on the same wavelength with each other either. Sabali has been penalised out of that little uh, melee with Trezeguet. Both these sides went unbeaten through their group campaigns in World Cup qualifying. Only the winners of the ten groups got through to this stage of the competition. It really is tough. You win your group and it only gets you into a playoff. Edouard Mendy, looping throw. Now to Salu Cisse. Sabali wants it on this right-hand side. Trying to go over Trezeguet, who manages to get a good challenge in. Feeds it inside to Hamdi Fatih. Good game from him in the first leg as well in Cairo. There's a real arm wrestle between Idrissa Gay, Nampolis Mendy, and the Sheikhu Kuate up against uh, Amr El Sulaya, Mohamed El Neni, and Hamdi Fatih. Free kick given to Senegal, Edouard Mendy looking upfield. Everybody beyond the halfway line. Looking long. When you've got Boulay Deer up front, why wouldn't you? Free kick given up by uh, Mendy in the middle there. Coming through on El Salaya. Nicholas Mendy, who uh, got a yellow card in the final of the Africa Cup of Nations, the Leicester City man. Defensive midfielder, though, with a really important job just creating the bridge between the defence and the attacking midfield. Forward by Cease. El Neni gets there. However, he's not got any support, so there were two or three Senegal players around to pick up the loose ball. Babu Cease out to Sabali. Kept in halfway through the first half. Sadio Mane comes up against Hamdi Fati. It's nicely done by Senegal again, and it needed that uh, tackle by Yasser Ibrahim. 
came in in the first half when uh, Mohamed Abdul Menem almost knocked himself out in a header inside his own box. I think it was up against Nampolis. Mendy, Mendy got hit on the back of his head and managed to carry on. And uh, the Egyptian tried to for a while, but in the end had to go off and looked like he'd broken his nose as well. Not fit enough to come back for this game. Cease forward. Senegal attack once more. Mane a little bit too far in front of the Liverpool hitman. However, he has earned a corner kick for the home side and the crowd noise rises once more. Nice ball down the line by Ismail Assar. Those two linking up well. <laughs> Senegal. Man just getting rid of the uh, bottle that had been uh, thrown onto the pitch. Just in case he hit it low with a grass cutter, I guess. Mohamed El now he's been beaten once already. Mane, they're all lined up by the penalty spot. Boulay Dia, the favourite amongst them to try and get on the end of this. He's being held onto, though, at the moment. And it's over the top by Papa Abu Sisse. And who came on in the uh, first leg as well as a substitute. Place for Olympiakos as the 26 year old centre back. On loan at the moment. To Saint Etienne, back to Olympiacos in the summer. Always going to be another corner. Mistake and a slip by Ahmed Fatou. Nope, it's not going to be a corner in the end. It was a foul on the Egyptian. Savali runs it out of play. Trezeguet at the moment struggling to get into the game dangerous uh, attacker who was uh, in terrific form, especially in the first half in Cairo. Now what's going on? El Neni is the man who is uh, attracting the referee's ire. Arsenal man who uh, doesn't get an awful lot of playing time for the Gunners. But uh, when he plays for Egypt, he uh, is always looking to try and feed Mohamed Salah in. And that's trying to feed Senegal in. There's a handball given against Sadio Mane. Didn't get a shot in the first leg until the uh, second half, did Sadio Mane. Man who has scored uh, over 251 goals with Mohamed Salah since uh, Salah arrived at the club. Developed an amazing rapport with each other on the field, scoring wise, although uh, sometimes they uh, look as though they've fallen out when uh, they haven't passed to each other. Senegal captain Koulibaly is uh, now a little irritated is being appeased by the referee. A lot of Egyptians going down with injuries in this first half. At the moment, they're holding on by their bootstraps to parity in this uh, game. They were the team that were on top in the first half in Cairo, but they are under the cosh well and truly here in the second leg.
uh, ball given against Sadio Mane. So then, underway again. Mohamed Salah is dispossessed immediately. Terrific pressure. Here come Senegal again. Salah's mid attacking partner, Sadio Mane, facing the ball forward. And then the shot from distance, and El Shanawi spoons it. Sabli's run it over the line. It'll be a goal kick. But a bit of a moment there for Mohamed El Shinawi. Idrissa Gay does not score an awful lot of goals, but that is typical of the man. When he hits them, they're from a long way out. Last goal came in World Cup qualifying back in uh, the autumn. The opener in a 4-1 win over Namibia. And uh, we've already had a substitution. So, Ashrash. Comes on. And uh, Omar Gaba comes off. Too far for Saar. Ismailia Saar, that is. Haven't seen too much of Bunasar so far. He's in the middle of your picture at the moment, wearing number 20. We saw him get forward quite a lot, especially in the second half of the first leg, but with uh, Yusuf Sabali there on the right hand side. He's uh, going to find his uh, route forward usurped by his teammate a little bit more in this second leg. There's another Egyptian down on the floor, but the referee is allowing Senegal to continue with Nampeles Mendy, Sabali. Tries not to use uh, Bounassar, pins it back to Mendy. Pat Abu Sisse. Complains because... I don't quite know if what's going on there. I think he's complaining about the lasers being shone at him. They are all over the place. We saw it in the first leg as well. Well, Rami Rabia is the man who's down. Even Ali Cisse now beginning to look a little exasperated. Senegal's uh, bench certainly looking very calm at the moment. A little reflective is the uh, Egyptian look at the moment for the substitutes. So Egypt find themselves back down to 10 men again for the time being. Now they're back to a full strength again. Rabia back on again, but how is he? Well, we'll never know because there uh, was a loose ball in from Senegal and Egypt are able to bring it out. El Neni, nice little back heel. Feeds it out to the left back, Ahmed Futu. Around the back of Salah. El Neni, though, has picked it up. He's given the ball away, though, and Sadio Mane now has it in a dangerous position. Here comes Senegal rushing forward, and again the shot here from that right hand side, but not as dangerous this time and easy collected by El Shanae. He immediately looks long, too long. Almost looked like a uh, kick for position there from the Egyptian shot stopper.
Well, Senegal suffered a huge blow in defence when Paris Saint-Germain man Abdou Diallo was forced off in the opening quarter of an hour on Friday night. It was Pap Abu Cisse who replaced him, and he started for him tonight. So far, he's doing pretty well. And he's managed to run that one out as well, as Mohamed Salah can't catch up to it. Denied his goal on uh, Friday night by a magnificent save from Edward Mendy, who probably didn't deserve the rebound straight onto Salou Cisse, who knew absolutely nothing about it until it had gone into the back of the net. Oh, hello. Abu Cisse can't afford to uh, dawdle on the ball too much when you've got the likes of Mohamed Salah in front of you. Sadio Mane turns inside Mohamed El Neni. Interesting game. Mane threads the needle. Forward by Cis. Here they come again, and that should be a free kick. Ismailia Saar goes down, and our first yellow card of the game is the reply from the referee. Ironically, it's the man who was just tackled a moment ago. Another stretcher. Quite sure how much of the Watford man he actually got. Regardless, it was a little bit wild and out of action, and uh, well, Rabia who uh, needed some attention on his ankle a moment ago, might have exacerbated the problem with that challenge. We've already lost one defender in the opening half an hour or so have uh, Egypt. They won't want to lose another. So then, looks like we are... All set to go again. Salu Cisse there on the left-hand side with Idrissa Gay on the right, who set up the first goal, although he won't get the assist for it. Carlos Keros, meanwhile. Having a word. With the man who's just come on, Enam Ashur. So then, off comes Rami, so he does indeed go, and Enem Ashur comes on to replace him. Like most of the team, plays uh, in Egyptian football for the Giants of Zamalek. And the ball has gone wide. It's not going to be a penalty, however many times uh, Ismaili Assar asked for it. We do have VAR for any of the contentious decisions that come up this evening. Salim Mane with a lovely ball into the box, and uh, it was good positioning from the Egyptian. So Egypt have already made two substitutions. As we head into the last eight minutes of the half, and... Uh, is Adrissa Gay just been booked? It looks as though it was him. Well, the midfield enforcer doing his job, but uh, illegally so, according to 
from an Algerian official. Went in with the studs. Again, not quite sure how much of Omar Mamouchi actually managed to connect with, but uh, we need another stretch up. Don't tell me another substitute. Well, Egypt are currently 34th in the FIFA rankings. They'll go a good deal higher if they make it through to their fourth World Cup appearance. Take them level with Algeria if they manage it. Egypt unbeaten in 10 World Cup qualifiers, seven of which they've won. Their best run since they went 10 matches unbeaten from 1997 until 2001. The tenth game in that run was a 1-0 victory against Senegal. Well, that's not going to happen this time, is it? They're 1-0 down. They did win the last one, though, 1-0 against the Senegalese. Mohamed El Neni. Looking, perhaps, to set up something that they trained on the uh, practice pitch. Looking long, it's over the top of Yasser Ibrahim and goes harmlessly behind for a goal kick. Mendy takes you quickly, taking advantage of that new rule that's come in in the last year of uh, not having to clear the penalty area with goal kicks anymore. Bunasar. Well, there was Sabali. Bunasar is slightly further forward than Sabali at the moment. He does play uh, right back for his club in Spain. Here comes Trezeguet, though. Well headed off. This guy has another chance. Now to Fatou. Fatou is tackled. Corner kick. Five minutes to go until the break. Senegal one. Egypt nil. This is to see who goes through to the World Cup finals later in the year. And one of the finalists from the Africa Cup of Nations will not be invited. But which one? We're even further away from knowing now than we were at the end of the first leg with that equaliser from Senegal, aggregately speaking. Um, it's Salah now is getting a talking to by the referee. Hasn't been much complaining from Mohamed Salah so far in this game, regarding the officials, at least. In comes the corner, it's very hard to the bat post and it was going to be difficult to create anything from there. Picked up by Ashraf. It's not the best ball from the substitute. Oh, that's bad. Idrissa Gay handed the ball. Senegal with a chance to attack. It's going to come from distance once more. Wide. Well, they're not shy in a shooting from distance. Nam Palace Mendy this time taking it on as Idrissa Gay did before him. Doesn't score very often, Nam Palace Gay. Nam Palace Mendy. Would have made himself a folk hero if that had gone in. Well, it's a measure of how well that Egypt are defending, though, that uh, Senegal are resorting to shots from well outside the area. The one chance that they've managed to get into the box, pounced on. By Pulai Diat. <laughs> Trent 
Ezra Gay is uh, edged off the ball by Idrissa Gay. Good tackle, though, by Ashraf. Gay again is there. Sadio Mane stays on his feet and delivers a wonderful ball down the left-hand side to Ismaili Saar. And a defensive tackle on the edge puts the ball behind. Crowd rising, corner kick coming. Wonderful overlap, and Senegal are knocking on the door again. Usual set piece, take up Bounassar, taking responsibility. Hooks it in, it's not a bad delivery, but there's nobody in a white shirt there. And Yusuf Sabali, I think that was a shot, was it? Bounassar can't take it, he's offside. And he knew it. That's a free kick. Well, yes, you do have the ball, but you took the man's legs away to get it. Referee not fooled by that. Up gets Omar Mamouche. Coming up to the final minute of the first half. And if the uh, first leg between these two sides was uh, the water simmering, well, it's boiling now. This is the business end. Even Carlos Queiroz said that uh, they'd only got halfway after that win. And that is good. There could be another goal here. Bounassar is through. Lovely ball across. Oh, nearly into his own net. Adam Ashall there playing with fire. He says, I knew what I was doing, I guess. Well, that would have been some own goal. Lovely ball in. And it'll be a corner. And that was a lovely piece of play from Senegal. Will they be able to finish it off? I think that means five minutes of time added on. It does, yes. So then, plenty of time at the end of the first half with all those injuries needed to be treated to Egyptian players in the first half. Meanwhile, the Egyptian substitutes are being put through their paces. Ayman Ashraf has received a yellow card, the uh, substitute who came on for Omar Gaber. Still the pushing continues. Delivery low. Disappointing set piece, it'll just be the throw in. by Amma al Salaya, But uh, you can see how deep all the Egyptians were, so possession almost inevitably handed back to Senegal. Sabali. Forward to Sadio Mane, who is tackled. But Sabali is going to get across and can't quite get the interception. And Egypt now have the chance to come forward. Trezeguet needs support. Chasing after him is Mohamed Salah. Salah, though, was uh, behind the play with El Nani. Senegal with the challenge. Edouard Mendy distributes. Forward by Idrissa Gay. There's going to be two sets of exhausted players at the end of this. It's been non-stop through this first half. End to end. So much energy being expelled by the two sides. Really dying for the cause. Giving everything they've got. Garnagay to Mendy and Palace Mendy. Picked 
up by Abu Papabo Cisse. Idrissa Gay once more leads it into Sadio Mane, who had to get past uh, Mohamed Salah, who's been penalised for fouling his Liverpool teammate. <laughs> Salah has a little look down at uh, Mane who is helped back up to his feet by his own players. Oh, by Mamouche on the Senegalese. Idrissa Gay once more. No point communicating, you cannot hear yourself think inside this stadium. Yet alone talk. Idrissa Gay sends it in. Abu Cisse couldn't quite get hold of it, and Egypt couldn't break. Cisse, though, comes back and has given away the foul on Trezeguet. It's going to be a free kick to Egypt as we head into the last minute and a half of the first half here on the outskirts of Dakar. Gay's having a terrific first half. He always seems to be in the right place. Back to the captain, Koulibaly. Cissé. Mendy. Now to Sabali. Sadio Mane all the way back in midfield. Taking it slow. Looks like they've settled for half time now, have Senegal. Is there a chance? Last few seconds for Egypt to come forward. It's uh, headed down by Sis. That'll do for the referee. I think he needs a drink as well as everybody else. And a bit of a breather. A breathless first half here in Senegal, where the Stade Me Umbale Wade in Diamnidio have been treated to a high quality half of football. Boulay Deer with the fourth minute opener, replicating what happened in the first leg with an own goal that put Senegal behind there. But it's all level here at half time. It's Senegal 1, Egypt 0, but it's 1-1 one, one on aggregate. Mohamed Salah has been largely kept out of play in the first half. Man who provoked the uh, goal in the home leg for Egypt. El Neni has been kept really busy in midfield. Again, it's another gargantuan battle between El Salah, El Neni, Fati. And Idrissa Gay and Mendy, who have been largely on their own against the three Egyptians, with Yusuf Sabali taking up a wider position on the right-hand side. Our referee is in, kept very busy. A number of Egyptians went down, needing attention. Two of them needed to go off. With Omar Gaber and Rami Rabia, two substitutions needed. Three yellow cards, two for Egypt and one for Senegal. Overall, though, the game has been played in a pretty good spirit. Let's take a look at these statistics then, and Senegal with much more possession. They had more possession in the first leg as well. Eight shots, just one shot for Egypt, three on target, none for Egypt. And, uh, well, Senegal worthy of their lead at the moment. So then stay with us because the second half to come where we will find out whether it will be Egypt or Senegal heading for the World Cup finals.
So here we go then. The next 45 minutes will define who goes to the World Cup finals this year. Will it be Senegal or Egypt? Will it be the African champions or their runners up? Elsewhere, it's 1 1 between Nigeria and Ghana. That match can now not go to extra time as it was 0 0 in the first leg. This one could go to extra time as it was 1 0 in the first leg and again here in the second. So then, last minute organising, remembering what the coach told them. Senegal looking to reach the World Cup finals for only the third time. Ali Cissé there at the bottom of your screen. He took them there for the first time in 2002. The only time since then, 2018. Quarterfinals in their debut appearance didn't get out of the group in Russia. Off we go then, Senegal kicking off the second half. They lead by one goal to nil thanks to the fourth minute poke home by Boulay Dia. It is one all on aggregate, which means that anything is possible at the moment. Egypt may have hoped to come here and defend now for 90 minutes, but they're not going to be able to do that anymore. A goal, though, for them, though, would be an away goal and could prove vital. Indeed, if we do get one more goal in this game, then we cannot have extra time. So Egypt then, just to remind you, they had to make two substitutions in the first half because of injury. Omar Gabba, the right back, came off and Ayman Ashraf came on for him. And then Rabi Rabia had to go off as well. The central defender who'd already come in for a suspended man, Mohamed Atiyah, replaced by Enem Ashur, also because of injury. Three yellow cards, including Adrissa Gay for Senegal, is the only line of Taranga who is uh, facing a yellow card. Salou Sis, left back, who scored the own goal in the first leg and uh, earned the foul that got the equaliser in the second. Idrissa Gay, who was free kick, was uh, the catalyst to that goal, and then Buna Saar just taking his eye off the ball. Well, I think there would be genuine depression for Senegal if they uh, don't go to the World Cup, having won their first ever African title. It would be a bit of a downer. For Egypt, though, it could probably be even worse, having lost the final of the Continental showpiece and not made it to the World Cup either. So much riding on this for both sides. Hanging header. There from Hamdi Fati. Earning the free kick for the visitors. Goes Adrissa Gay and wins the head up. And uh, what a scuffed effort. Not troubling Edouard Mendy. When you regard him as the world's best goalkeeper at the moment, the uh, Chelsea shot stopper, he's not had to do an awful lot so far to prove it in this second leg. by Koulibaly. 
Sadio Mane's got three men around him and he's, uh, in the end, bundled off the ball. Home crowd don't like it, referee is untroubled. El Neni, though, is uh, ambushed by Boulay Dia. However, Egypt keep the ball, thanks to Omar Mamouche. However, then a free kick to Senegal. Senegal secured their playoff spot as winners of Group H with 16 points from their six matches, well above runners-up Togo. It was a comfortable run through for them. Egypt also winning their group as well to uh, get this far. Unbeaten as well, four wins for them, two draws, 14 points. Their lead almost as big over Gabon as Senegal's was in their group. Just a seven-point advantage for the Pharaohs. Trezeguet being uh, held on to by Sabali. He says he was also being held. I think he was doing the majority of the holding, though. Mohamed El Neni will take the free kick. Met by a Senegal head, Mohamed Salah, shaped to shoot. They closed him down immediately. It's a lovely ball through, though, by Fatou. Salah can't get there, out by Pat Abu Sisse, and it'll be a throw-in to Egypt. There's an Egyptian down around the penalty area. Is that Fatou? No, referee is going to call for the stretch, I think. There's a slightly wry smile on his face. And we are checking for a red card in this. Through VAR. So this suggests an elbow. And a stretcher is going to be needed, and... Uh, Two Egyptians have already gone off injured in the first half. The 1 0 win for uh, Egypt in the first leg meant that they're now unbeaten in eight matches on home soil, seven wins since they. 1-0 reverse against South Africa back in the 2019 Africa Cup of Nations, the tournament they hosted and which they probably rather forget. Didn't go well for them when they replaced Cameroon as the host. I mean, Salah is now being pushed around a bit. And the good nature of the first half is now being replaced by a little bit of niggle in the second. Looked like a slap there from Pat Abu Sisse. And the referee has spotted it. Pulls he away, the uh, centre-back. Meanwhile, Koulibaly, the captain, and uh, NM Ashur are being told to calm down. Kanu Koulibaly, who uh, plays in the heat and the atmosphere of Naples for Napoli. It's an experienced centre-back, 30 years old. It's going to be another free kick to Egypt. The referee doesn't want them to take it quickly. Mohamed Salah is over there. Edouard Mendy screaming the orders. Trezeguet lining up his right foot. Mohamed Salah's left. Nasser Ibrahim in the middle, as is Asa El Saleh. 
Ball comes in and it's uh, met by the captain of Senegal, Khalidou Koulibaly. And now Senegal have the chance to break forward. Boulay Deer, who scored the only goal so far, is on a one-on-one, -on -one, goes down in the box, doesn't claim the penalty. Nice little turn from Boulay Deer. <laughs> Referee says that uh, El Shanawi got the ball. Well, some rather unexpected skills there from Boulay Deer inside the box. It's fairly traditional front man. Strong in the air, holds up play well. Almost turned on the tricks. All right, Sadio Mane would. Another free kick has been given. And Ali Cisse now is getting fraught. Sadio Mane trying to... Uh, Stop his players getting in touch. I wonder whether or not they think this was a penalty. I'm not sure it was. Look at that, though, for the little back heel. Maybe that was the uh, attempt. I think it would have been soft. Referee, I think, is doing really well in this game. He is managing to keep it all under control just. Cooley Barley forward. In by looking for Dia and uh, Mane. Mane heads it backwards in the end. It's going to be a free kick. To Egypt, I think. Referee pointed both directions there. I'm not quite sure who that's to. He's got to have another look because there's another little melee. Enam Ashur holding on to his face. Was there an elbow? That's the thing. It was missed to start with by Mamouche. I'm not quite sure what we were looking at there. Again, Sadio Mane getting involved. With Yasser Ibrahim, number six there for Egypt. game of football might break out in a minute. Carlos Kirosh is uh, strategizing, wondering when's the best time to make a substitution. When, maybe to go a little more attacking. One goal for Egypt would put them in an incredibly strong position. It is still very, very tight. Rod Mendy goes short. Back from Koulibaly. It's well managed. It's going to be a throw in, no foul. Coming up to the hour. Just how nervy, much more nervy this game can get. Ball tackled. Mendy there losing possession, but he was rescued by his teammate. Boulay Dia picks it up into the middle. Ball into the box, met by Abraham. Out for a throw in to Senegal. Taken quickly. Mendy once more. That's short and is uh, tackled by El Soleil. Throw in by Sabali. Foul, though, by Boulay Dia. His goal at the moment, keeping this game on a knife edge, this tie on a knife edge. Senegal, for all their greatness, all those generations, all that admiration that's come from the neutral support, have not made it to the World Cup that often. Likewise for uh, Egypt, but more to do with the dominance that they've had on the continent 
in terms of the Africa Cup of Nations, at least. Two sides that would probably look at themselves and think we should have done more in terms of the World Cup. Both went to Russia, only one of them can go to Qatar. First time we will have a World Cup in the winter. Not because of a COVID-related delay, but because of a weather-related readjustment. Long by Mendy. Well picked up by Cis. And it will be a throw in, I think. Nope. <laughs> and it's Cisse told to get back inside his technical area. Well, he did get the ball, but uh, came round the back of the man. I think probably just about got it the leg first before the ball. Idrissa Garnage once more in charge of the set piece. Salu Cis, though, offering an alternative. And it will be the left back who takes it. It's a little bit of a lofted uh, golf swing, though, that was easy for Mohamed El Shinawi. Feeds it out to find Fatou. And he's tackled. Hour gone. Senegal won, Egypt nil, but it's 1 1 on aggregate. As it stands, extra time is on the cards. We still, though, have just under half an hour to go to try and uh, sort this out in regulation time. Egypt beginning to think about bringing on substitutes. Koulibaly let that drop. And he's given the ball away. It's well intercepted down the line. It's Mamouche. Back it comes to Ashur from El Nenny. El Nenny wants it back again. And in the end, Koulibaly didn't listen to the shout from Edouard Mendy. Forward by Ashraf. Lovely ball. Chance for Mohamed Salah to get forward. Just the tackle from Idrissa Gay made him lose possession. Just enough. And Bounassar now can come forward. We haven't seen very much from him in an attacking sense so far. Sadio Mane, though. Mane is opening up for Mane. And the shot is blocked. Smalia Saar. Into the box, still going. Another good tackle. Salah's on his own. Needs some support. Somehow he's managed to get a free kick out of that. He's got to be careful. Pat Abu Cisse. Got to keep your nose clean when you're under pressure. This was the drive by Ismaili Sar. Good tackle, though, in the middle. Mane, good feet, didn't quite deliver the pass, but it has come to Ismail Sar. Too many red shirts to get past, though. Idrissa Gay, though, will pick up the pieces. Sis. No foul. Ismail Sar has managed to get it down in the middle. That will be a free kick, though. Drive again by Mane. Making defenders make decisions they don't want to. And the pincer movement coming in by El Soleya. 
and Yasser Ibrahim. about something. Uh, Mohamed Salah joining in as well. Meanwhile, Egypt are lining up a couple of uh, substitutes. El Medi is one of them, number 18. The wall is being lined up, though. El Neni is the doorstop. Lying down on the floor, Senegal also with a uh, couple of substitutions coming up as well. All that, though, is to come after the free kick, I would suggest. Big moment in the game. The most dangerously played set piece of the game so far. Idrissa Gay and Salu Cis standing over the ball. Which one will it be, though? There's a Senegal fake wall in front of the real Egyptian one. It's uh, Drissa Gay over the top. Well, in the end, a bit of a uh, disappointment from the 32-year-old Paris Saint-Germain midfielder, who scored three times for the capital side in Liga this season. One goal for him in that World Cup qualifying for Senegal. That, though, was a good metre over the top. El Neni wins the ball and finds his midfield partner, El Soleil. On by Ismailia Saar. Sadio Mane couldn't get a proper touch on it, but it nearly worked out. It needed... Uh, Mohamed El Shanawi to come forward and he's given the ball away. Okay, back. Koulibaly barges his way past Mohamed Salah. Sabali. Dangerous ball in! And it's come off the head there of Yasser Ibrahim under pressure from the Senegalese winger Ismail Yassar. Lovely ball in from Sabali. Good defending. Still waiting for a bevy of uh, substitutions to be made. Salih Cis and Buna Saar have a little bit of a conference. It's going to be the Bayern Munich man, though, who takes it. In it comes then, and it uh, doesn't get past the first Egyptian defender. And the referee brings play to a halt anyway. And we will get some substitutions now. Bunasar is going to come off first to be replaced by Bomba Dieng, the Marseille forward. Turned 21 years old recently. Bunasar was more influential in the first leg than in the second. Crowd excited to see Bomba Dieng come on. Last goal was in the semi-finals of the Africa Cup of Nations, the win over Burkina Faso. Then ended up 3-1. Senegal only needed 90 minutes to get all the way through the uh, last 16 quarter-finals and semi-finals, as whereas well Egypt needed extra time or penalties in all three of their games getting to the final after they'd come through the group.
even then, Egypt nearly managed to uh, win the Africa Cup of Nations final in another penalty shootout. Three penalty shootouts in their last four games. Ooh, that was uh, a little bit flailing by the new man on, Bomba Deng. Ahmed Fertu felt that. So then, three substitutions. Trezeguet is coming off. Left winger. Zizou coming on to replace him. He came on for Omar Mamouche. Or well, he came off for Omar Mamouche in the uh, first leg. He's a right winger. Hamid El Neni comes off in the middle of the park. Nabil Ahmad comes on to replace him. And up front, Omar Mamouche comes off and is replaced by the man he replaced in the starting lineup, Mustafa Mohamed. Meanwhile, Ahmed Futu is still uh, getting up. Zizo is going to get his first touch from the set piece then. Sends it in, 20 minutes to go, still on a knife edge and a terrific take by Edouard Mendy. And he wants to get play going straight away. Ismailia Saar straight into the face of Enim Ashur, which uh, gets possession back for the Egyptians. Salah, ball into the box, dangerous! And Zizo there, nearly scoring with only his second touch since coming on. Oh, he'll be disappointed. What a dream ball this is from Mohamed Salah. Unchallenged, and he doesn't make Mendy work. Bomba Jeng has been uh, yellow carded already, I assume, for that first challenge when he came on. Sagana Gay being challenged by Mohamed Salah. And then is charged from behind. Fairly agricultural challenge by uh, Mustafa Mohamed. Well, Senegal by far the more attacking, but that was probably predictable. Egypt are very much a team based on solid defence. Not to say that Senegal is not based on good defence as well. Here come the Egyptians again. Mustafa Mohamed. Feeds it backwards. And Bomba Deng has got it and then goes down under the challenge. There from uh, Nabil Ahmed. It's all getting a bit tasty once more. Hamdi Fati taking exception. The Egyptian midfielder. Referee trying to reason with him. Seems to have succeeded. Hamdi Fati who plays for uh, Egyptian giants Al Ali. Senegal on the attack. Sixteen and a half minutes to go in normal time. A possible half an hour to come after that. Salu Cisse runs straight into Mustafa Mohamed. However, 
Schneidl has been got back by uh, Sadio Mane. Cease now on the overlap. Dangerous ball in, but all of these Senegal players are at the back post. Nobody running towards the near side of the penalty area. Mohamed Salah dinks the ball underneath Idrissa Gay. Zizo. It's having a useful start to this, but that's slightly loose, and the challenge comes in from Yusuf Sabali. And it will be a throw-in to the Egyptians, uh, getting themselves camped in the Senegal half in this second half has been a bit of a rarity. This though is an attacking stage post that perhaps they can build from. Christopher Mohamed makes himself available. However, good tackling and marking by Senegal. Egypt have done well to get it back though. Oh, and Koulibaly there. I do not know what happened. And Edouard Mendy is quick to say it's all right. Captain there taking off his goalkeeper's gloves and giving away a rather unnecessary corner. Well, that's what pressure does to you. Well, if there's any doubt, they always say get rid of it. And that's exactly what the Senegal skipper did. Inside the last 15 minutes. Back post, cross, they don't know where it's gone. Mohamed Salah has it. Tackled by his Liverpool teammate, Sadio Mane. Considering they play on the same side of the pitch, they haven't actually clashed very much over these two legs. It's a decent ball down the line. Uh, Mustafa Mohamed has been left on the deck. Zizo is trying to come back inside. Chance! Well, that's two chances he's had since he came on. Both of them excellent. The first one handed to him by his Salah, the second one of his own making. But it remains 1-1 on aggregate. Oh, what a big moment. How big will that be? Mustafa Mohamed is still on the deck, but he's gingerly now getting himself back to his feet. What a chance. What a couple of chances that Zizo has had. Well, he'd have made his coach look ever so good up there with the best coaches in the world if he'd managed to take hold of one of those two chances moments after coming on. It's going to be a goal kick in the end. Edouard Mendy looks long this time. Up looking for Sadio Mane, who manages to beat Yasser Ibrahim in the air and finds Bomba Deng. Forward by Nampalis Mendy, but uh, straight into the path of Ahmed Futu. Zizou. Well, he's in touch right from coming on, except for scoring. Bull ideas, fourth minute goal is the only goal so far. The goal scored exactly the same amount of time into the second leg that Salu Cisse scored an own goal in the first in Cairo. Forward there by Ashraf. Measured by Egypt. Kept in by Zizou. He's got Sabali in front of him. Zizou stepping back inside. Men in the middle. However, he's found Salu Cisse. However, the ball is still not away. Back they come again, silky feet here. Too many men, and that'll be a free kick. Well, Sabali started off this game being very much a uh, winger. He's become deeper and deeper, and now that Bounassar has uh, come off, he's gone back to replace him. Back to where he plays his club football at right back. And uh, doing a pretty good job of it. Another substitution coming. Midfielder Kuarte dropped to the bench today. There's a uh, well, you see, they went for a more attack-minded starting eleven. But 
now that Yusuf Savali has dropped back into defence. A little bit of a reinforcements perhaps needed in midfield to help uh, Nepalis Mendy and Idrissa Gay, who have done an awful lot of work in the Senegal midfield so far. Underway from El Shanawi. He too goes long, like Mendy did a moment ago. It's out by Cisse. Mendy. Gets a whole load of Mustafa Mohamed through the back of him. And one would assume he would be hurt. Maybe the only reason you would waste time at the moment is so you can have a rest. are still no nearer to knowing who is going to the World Cup. Senegal or Egypt. So then it's uh, Nampales Mendy who comes off after an excellent game from him in midfield. And on to replace him is Sheku Kouate. The Crystal Palace midfielder. And Boulay Dia, the goal scorer, comes off as well. And is replaced uh, by a midfielder. So uh, packing the midfield as Pat Gay comes on to join his Marseille teammate, uh, Bomba Deng for this last 10 minutes of the game. Pat Gay's first uh, intervention is to head it straight to an Egyptian. We are now on the... Ashur. Good work by Sis. Mali Asar looking for the attack. Ball was just a little bit too hard hit, though. Ball given away to Salah by uh, Kuate. However, he wins it back again, the uh, Senegal substitute. Mali Asar, lovely ball into the middle, finds Idrissa Gay. Sadio Mane could be a chance. It's Mali Asar, he's wide. Oh, what a chance for Senegal. Guilt edge chances at both ends in the last 10 minutes. And the nerves taking over for both sides. Well, it was a beautiful ball by Salah for Zizou to create the first of two great chances for the Egyptian substitute, and then a beautiful ball from Sadio Mane. He was not offside either. Played on in the middle by Ayman Ashraf. What a golden chance that goes begging for the Lions of Taranga. Free kick to Egypt. Against Papabu Sisse. Zizo, dangerous ball in, out by Cisse, the man who gave away the foul. 
Now a chance to race forward again. Ismail Azar again, elusive down the wing, but he's tackled this time by Ashur. Salah into Mustafa Mohamed. Back by El Salaya. Forward again by Ashraf. KG. Senegal pushing out, pressing high, and it's back to the goalkeeper. Ibrahim decides to go over the midfield. Picked up by the Senegal captain, Koulibaly, who is fouled by Mustafa Mohamed. Before the first leg, World Cup playoff 1 0 win against Senegal in Cairo, Egypt, a draw on three of their last four matches. 0 0 with Mohamed Salah and Trezeguet, their only scorers in extra time against Morocco. In the Africa Cup of Nations, they haven't broken through here either, having scored in the first leg, albeit through an own goal. I know it's a cliche, but you really can cut the tension with a knife here inside this stadium. Rhythmic clapping from some of the fans. They try to stay calm, try to transmit belief. Egyptian fans, meanwhile, looking nervously from their stand. It's a long trip to get here from one side of Africa to the other. East to west. They will want it to have been worthwhile. And Senegal come out on the wrong side of the decision from the uh, referee, and uh, it's going to be a yellow card now for Aliou Cissé. Who is not happy with some of the decisions going against his side. Huge pressure. If you thought there was huge pressure on the players, it's nothing compared to what it is on the coaches. Up in the air by El Soleil. Zizo. Nice little dink ball over, but it's seen by Cissé. Out by the captain, Koulibaly. Picked up in the middle. Nice ball forward. Sadio Mane, though, is tackled. Good interception by Hamdi Fatty. Throw into the home side. Two and a half minutes to go. Extra time beckoning. Are we heading towards another penalty shootout? Sabali. Or do we have... A finish to remember here inside the 90. Forward by Cissé, still going the centre-back. Oh, and then a very tired pass out wide. Mohamed Shaki there, the uh, assistant coach for Egypt, having a word with uh, the main man, Carlos Quiros. 
quite active on Twitter, is uh, the Portuguese coach. Here comes Salu Cisse for Senegal. Again, it's a tired ball and it's over the bar. Haven't seen him come forward very much. The referee, very keen that uh, play continues and not too much time passes with dead balls. Last minute. Well, I think it's pretty certain now, unless we have an almighty finish, that we are heading towards an extra 30 minutes. Champions League in Europe, we saw the lack of uh, extra time. In World Cup qualifying, we still have to go all the whole distance. Koulibaly. Three minutes added on at the end of the second half. And here comes Sadio Mane for Senegal. Bombardeng in the box. Zizou trying to put on the pressure. It's going to come off an Egyptian for a corner kick. It was Ayman Ashraf getting in the way. And Sadio Mane encouraging the crowd to lift his side. How badly do they want it? Aliou Cisse leading the cheering as well. Salou Cisse again comes over to offer his left foot for the in-swinger. It looks like uh, Mane is going to leave him to it. In it comes then from the fullback. Dangerous ball nearly onto the head of Cisse. Lovely turn by Saar again. Oh, here he goes once more. Davis ball to the back post, and it's wide from Cissé. Well, they've had their moments. Scream of frustration from Alia Cissé towards his assistants. Arnosh Keraj and his assistants at the edge of their nerves as well. There was a beautiful ball in from the Watford man. And the 26-year-old Olympiakos. Defender unable to direct the header. Cissé hasn't scored for Senegal. Since October 2018. He's played a lot of time since then. But no goal since. Koulibaly is going to leave this for Idrissa Gay. Last 30 seconds. Idrissa Gay lofts it towards the penalty area. It's out by Yasser Ibrahim, and in any case, it's a free kick given to Egypt. That could well be it for the 90 minutes. And again, it's going to just get a little fractious. Cissé this time taking umbrage, perhaps still thinking about that miss. Full time at the end of the 90 minutes here at the Stad. May Embolai Wade in Diam Nadio, just outside Dakar. And we are heading for extra time. Just the one goal in the 90 minutes scored by Bulai Dia after four minutes. Egypt unable to respond. So after their win in the first leg, it's one all on aggregate. We will need another 30 minutes at least and maybe penalties to decide 
which of these two teams is heading for the World Cup in uh, the autumn, stroke winter. So now the uh, coaches go to work. A little sustenance just to get the energy levels back up again. Water bottles are out. And Cissé wants to gather his team together. 46-year-old who lost two Africa Cup of Nations finals before finally winning one. He lost one as a coach, one as a player. Now has finally done it. He went to the World Cup as a player. Now he's trying to take them as a coach, which would really seal his place in the Senegal football world. The huddle is gathered. Nuruddin Bashera there, the bald head. Part of the uh, coaching crew, along with uh, Regis Bogat, the goalkeeping coach, Tony Silva. Meanwhile, Egypt's backroom staff are going to work as well. Dia El Sayyad on the left-hand side of your screen. Mohamed Shaki as well, another assistant coach. And Esam El Hadari, the legendary Egyptian goalkeeper who saved a penalty against uh, Saudi Arabia back in the last World Cup in 2018 and is now retired. But, uh, of course, Egypt benefiting from his vast experience. So then I guess it all comes down to now who's got the most energy levels left after that really gruelling 90 minutes. Important job for Kuli Bali here, the captain, to keep his side focused. Mohamed Salah as well. Project belief, project confidence. Project that winning mentality. Salah publicly declared how much he wanted to get revenge over Senegal for that final defeat in the Africa Cup of Nations. Got a measure of that in the first leg when he provoked the own goal that led to the Egyptian victory. But their place in the World Cup is far from sure. Sadio Mane could do the double over his Liverpool teammate. Whatever happens, it's going to be an interesting dressing room. Jurgen Klopp's going to have his work cut out when those two get back. Depending on what happens, of course, towards the end of this game. So then. Forward come the two captains once more. Another flip of the coin. Well, they find amusement there. It's done well, the referee. This game could have got away from him. There was a lot of niggle at certain times, and he handled it really well. Hasn't been handing out yellow cards all over the place, but has still managed to keep this game going. It's a fascinating encounter, and we are still no nearer to knowing its conclusion. Off we go again then, Egypt kicking off, 30 minutes of extra time. 1-0 on the day, but it's 1-1 on aggregate. Next goal would surely win it. Egypt with the upper hand that if they score then they have the away goal advantage. Senegal, though, of course, have the advantage of this game taking place at home in front of a frantically partisan home crowd. Salih Cisse, who scored the own goal in the first leg, feeds it down the line. It's a good tackle once more. It's been excellent, Enim Ashour, since he came on for Ramia Rabia in the first half.
Nicely done. In by Sadio Mane, but it was a weak header that didn't test Mohamed El Shanawi. Up against Yasser Abraham. Nicely done. And uh, in the end, Ishmalia Saar not able to get the connection he was looking for. It was good defending, actually, that uh, just took the sting out of it. It's nicely done by Sambali, and he gets the foul from uh, Mustafa Mohamed. Sheikh Kuate. He should have a fresh pair of legs on him. It's not been on that long since coming on in the second half. Started the first leg, but on the bench for the second, and that's a another tired-looking uh, ball from Pap Abu Sise, who is uh, looking more and more fatigued the more you see of him. In Amashor, with ball in hand for Egypt. Egypt, who went to uh, the World Cup all the way back in 1934, only the second time it had ever been held. Got fewer teams in the World Cup back then. And had to wait until 1990 before getting through again in Italia 90. And then another long gap before they reach Russia. In between that time, they won seven Africa Cup of Nations titles. Seemed they couldn't be beaten once upon a time. When it came to the continental competition, couldn't translate that though into qualifying for the World Cup. A number of unfortunate circumstances that denied them their place at the world's top table of football. They qualified for the World Cup one more time than Senegal. In it comes from Idrissa Gay, and there's the chance for Cissé. And this time it does provoke the save from Mohamed El Shanawi. In again, and another header, this time Bomber Deng. Two chances in back-to-back -back corners. That was an easier save, though, for the Egyptian goalkeeper, Mohamed El Shanawi. Ahmed Futu into Zizo, who's tackled in midfield. It's well intercepted by uh, Pap Gay. Forward by Sis. Nice ball. Sadio Mane's onto it. Yasser Ibrahim in front of him once more. Takes him on again. Beats him again. Surely! El now he saves it. And it's Mali Asai. It was surely easier to score. Great tracking across by the Egyptian keeper. Mane skinned his man again, and how is that not a goal? Unreal. Looking for his first goal since scoring against Equatorial Guinea in the AFCON. It almost turned into a cross again. And El Shanawi, scrambling across his line, seems to have hurt himself, making a wonderful save in the end. Oh, a couple of great chances. For Ismailiasar, late in the second half and now early in the extra time. In it comes from Idrissa Gay. It's well met by an Egyptian head, though. Gay okay, keeps it in. Sabali is surrounded. He's got uh, Mohamed Salah tackling him. And he had help. 
It's going to be a Senegal throw in. It's nice. Bomba Jeng there with the uh, blind pass goes down, no foul. Too easy. Carlos Kerez screaming out the fine tuning. It's well taken down by Enemashur. Comes inside Salusis and then inside Idrissa Gay. Zizo right in front of Alu Cisse. Good tackle by Pat Gay. For two. See now the night is beginning to come down on the west of Africa. Mustafa Mohamed, too far and too high for Salah, who appreciates the effort. It was just a couple of metres too hard, though. Salio Cis. man who plays second division football in France for Ligue 2 side Nancy. And yet here he is at the sharp end of international football. Already 30 odd international matches for the fullback as it's uh, picked up by Gay. Kuate. Two substitute midfielders linking up back from the one who started it, Idrissa Gay. Koulibaly. Now looking for Sadio Mane again, who uh, seems to have got the number on Yasser Ibrahim. That's gone out. And they are starting to target Mane down that left flank. Need the men to be on the end of it, though, as well. A little swig of uh, water from Ahmed Futu. Very quiet looking Egyptian section. Nerves ripping through them. Their team holding on. Carlos Kerosh, formerly of Manchester United and Real Madrid and a number of uh, international sides. Most latterly, South Africa. Started off with Portugal, though, and then went through Colombia and Iran, amongst others. And they see, say, though, very much a man of Senegal. Heading towards the 100 minutes on the clock, looking for Sadio Mane again. This time, Yasser Ibrahim beats him to the ball. Mohamed Salah chased after by Sheikou Kouate. Those two know each other well from the English Premier League. Good ball inside, looking for Mustafa Mohamed. Good reactions, though, from Edouard Mendy, seeing the danger early and gets it underway early as well. The Chelsea man looking for the Liverpool start. Sadio Mane up front. That's a nice little ball inside. Picked up by Amir al Saleh. And there's space in midfield now for Egypt to come forward. Zika, oh. Zizo just waited for it to arrive and Sabali stepped in and took it off him. Beautifully done. Ismail Yassar there, stealing the ball away from Ayman Ashraf. And he's earned himself a corner out of it. Good little passion to play there in defence and then attack for Senegal. Idris Gay comes across to take the set piece. The 
lasers are an unwanted distraction coming in from the crowd. Drissake wants to get on with it. Referee says, yes, do. Here he comes then from the Paris Saint-Germain. Man, dangerous ball. It was Cissé rising again to try and meet it. This time, though, he couldn't get the connection. It's going to be an Egypt throw, which Enem Ashour will take. That section in green and the section in yellow, they have not stopped moving through the entirety of the match. Egyptians beginning to find their voices just a touch. Just a couple of minutes away from half time of extra time. Ghana Gay wants to get on with it. Senegal on the attack. The chest on, looking for Cissé on the turn. And again, Cissé. Double save by Mohamed El Shanawi. Well, neither shot was really hard. But El Shanawi seems surprised by the first. There were bodies between him and the Senegal centre back. Well, it was a great chest in, but there was panic in the Egyptian defence. Lovely turn by Cissé. And then he followed up his own shot. Another chance goes begging, though, for the hosts. Well, at the end of this game, both sides are going to say, well, we could have won this if they didn't. That's too far for everybody. El Shanawi takes it. Well, he's had to come up with some saves, many more than Edouard Mendy has at the other end. I'm not sure Mendy has really had to make a proper save in anger. El Shanawi, who... Uh, was injured during the Africa Cup of Nations. So much so that he had to be replaced and didn't play through the last 16 or got taken off in the last 16. Gabaski came on with real verve and uh, filled in for him. But El Shanawi reclaimed his place for this playoff in Cairo and here today. And he is justifying the coach's faith in him. Would they bring Kabaski on, though, for a penalty shootout? Having had such success with them. With him, he won two of the three. Did Kabaski. However, the one he lost was against Senegal. One minute then at the end of the first half of extra time. This 50-seater, Stadme Mbolaiwade, is rocking. And Egypt are rocking a little bit as well. It's Malia Sar still seems full of energy. And he's earned his side another corner. Which they will have to take pretty quickly. Well, it's Malia Sar will be desperate to provide something. He's had two brilliant opportunities to put this one to bed. And he has not taken it. Or them. Idrissa Gay will swing it in again with his right foot. It's another good delivery. However, it's out by Ama El Soleya. And 
then the volley wide as well. Sabali with the header. Getting there ahead of Zizo, who, like Ismail Yassar, has had a couple of superb chances. Half time at extra time. And we are still one all on aggregate. Carlos Queiroz calls his men across. You are supposed to just swap over and kick off, but uh, that was never going to happen. So then, who will be going to the World Cup? The other one, the other match on at the moment has already been sorted. I won't tell you what happened, though, for those that uh, don't like spoilers. Concentrate on this game. This was the chance here. All the way across. Lovely turn from the uh, central defender, Pat Abu Sisse. But his four-year wait for another Senegal goal goes on. Kabaski talking to Yasser Ibrahim. Aliou Cisse talking to the entire squad. There's Abu Diallo there, top of your screen, injured for today. He would have started the Paris Saint-Germain man had he not been injured in the first leg. So then, the light show is out. Lights dimmed. Now being raised once more, 15 minutes between Egypt and Senegal. With the spectre once more of penalties looming overhead. Almost like an inevitability. So then, the last 15 minutes of the Africa Zone playoff for the FIFA World Cup of 2022 between Senegal and Egypt is on a knife edge still. And here comes Sadio Mane, nearly fed through by Deng. Oh, they might have ambushed Egypt there right at the beginning. Slightly overhit pass, though, from the Marseille man. Mohamed El Shinawi will take the goal kick. It's long and met by Pap Gay. Forward by Egypt, but uh, it's the captain for Senegal, Koulibaly, who's got it, and he runs into trouble in the form of Amir El Soleya, but uh, the Egyptian has fouled him. Senegal take it quickly. Yusuf Sabali down the right-hand side, being chased after by his opposite number, Zizou. Men forward for Senegal. Bombardier turns, runs, tackled by El Soleya again. Gay looking for the goal, looking for the winner, never in control. Pap Gay, another man who plays for Marseille. Very highly rated midfielder, just 23 years old. He's never scored for Senegal. What a moment that would have been to change that statistic. One of the relatively new men coming through.
couple of starts in the Africa Cup of Nations, six appearances all in all, but mostly as a substitute. But has got that winning medal on his mantelpiece or hanging up on the wall. However, to keep that good time feeling going, Senegal need to win this. They need to compound the misery for Egypt. Bombajeng looks forlorn because he's been penalised for the tackle on Hamdi Fati. Okay, uh, insinuating perhaps that the fall was not entirely genuine. Senegal want to get on with this. Hamdi Fatou himself will take the resulting set piece. It's not a very good one. Senegal easily picking it out. Gay, the man who gave away the free kick. Cisse, long, speculative ball, looking for Sadio Mane. In by Sis. Gay. Little blind pass. However, Cisse couldn't get there, and it'll be a throw-in. Good defending by Anim Ashur. Okay, seeing a lot of the ball. Idrissa Ghana Gay, a dynamo that never runs out. Sabali forward. It's nicely done. Ismail Yassar again, still got tricks. And the referee is given a free kick. Well, if he'd scored, he would have definitely been the man of the match for me, Ismail Yassar. He's been a threat throughout. Great first touch, great control. Never afraid to take on defenders. He's earned his side another free kick. Ten minutes to go. Idrissa Garnagay, another set piece from the PSG man. His deliveries so far have largely been good. He needs one right on the money now. He's taken short. Gay from distance slipped. What a disappointing one that was. And you can see there the frustration from the captain. Kalidou Koulibaly, the big man, had all come forward waiting for the high ball in. And in the end, it was completely wasted. El Shanawi meeting with the anger of the home crowd because they see him there wasting time. The lasers dancing all over him. Koulibaly and Salah not happy with each other. Ahmed Futu is down and uh, on come the stretcher bearers again who've done almost as much running as the players in this game. Mali Asar and Ayman Ashraf exchanging pleasantries again as uh, Pap Gay gets uh, a little bit of water. So then. Surprised we haven't seen more players going down with cramp. El Shnawi then gets this underway again. Temperature is 20 degrees in Dakar at the moment as uh, Futu gets a yellow card.
Day just beginning to cool down a little bit. Humidity, though, is high. So 84% or there or thereabouts. So that is a bit sapping, but 20 degrees is quite comfortable in some senses. It's not the hottest. It's still fairly early on in the year. It's a good tackle by uh, Nabil Emad. Koulibaly, Senegal captain, spreads it out wide to uh, Pap Abu Sisse, who's had as good a chance as anybody to win this game. Into Bomba Jeng, goes for the far corner. Nice turn. As we see a substitution. Four goals for Bomba Jeng this season for Marseille. It's not been particularly spectacular, and Idrissa Gay has run himself into the ground and is going to have to come off. Placed by Pap Matasar. Twenty-four shots to five. Well, there tells you a story. All-out attack from Senegal. Just the odd counter coming from Egypt. But they have had two spectacularly good chances, both of whom fell to Zizo, their substitute. And it comes back post. And it, again, it was uh, Abu Sisse trying to get hold of it. Another header from the central defender, but uh, looped up on an easy catch for Mohamed El Shanawi. And there's a real problem here. One of the Egyptians there looks out for the count. Well, this is concerning. Abu Sisse is the man who's got cramp on the left-hand side. But there's some real concern there. A clash in the middle, and we can only hope that the uh, medical staff get to work immediately. Immediate reaction from the players and then the referee. Well... It was uh, Pap Abu Saar falling to the ground that created that problem. Nothing deliberate about it at all. And of course, we're going to see a substitution. Mohamed Allah. The Zamalek defender will come on. 31 year old. Part of the Zamalek side that won the Egyptian Premier League last season. And Sadio Mane and Mohamed Salah finally get a chance to have a bit of a word together. Well, they've been through a lot, both as teammates and as rivals. This time next week, they'll be back at Anfield in Liverpool. And they'll have a lot of tales to tell and share with their Liverpool teammates. They first played each other, actually, back in August 2017. 
Only Song Hyung Min and Harry Kane of Tottenham have combined for more Premier League goals than the Liverpool duo have. Andy Fatty has come off then and uh, has been replaced, as we said. By Mahmoud Ala. And uh, just hope that the Egyptian coming off is not too badly hurt. And Pat Gay again taking exception with Mustafa Mohamed, who is going to get a yellow card. Didn't look as though there was an awful lot in that. However, the Egyptian substitute goes in the book. Well, we're only a minute away from the end of the uh, end of extra time, but you've got to assume there's going to be a hefty amount of time added on. Otherwise, we are heading for penalty shootouts again at the end of the Africa Cup of Nations and here in World Cup qualifying. Loose ball. Neither side now look really like they have ideas. Just too tired. And it's hardly surprising. They have done an awful lot of running. Such hard work from both sides. Another Egyptian has gone down this time, but has earned a free kick. Zizo. <laughs> Only two minutes added on. It's a little surprising. It's almost like the referee wants to get to penalties. So then, Zizo. Is this a final chance? What do we have in store in the next minute and a half? Zizo with the free kick into the box. It's met, though, by a Senegal head. Away by Sadio Mane. Referee has seen a free kick. Or rather, he's seen a foul and has given a free kick. Crowd rising again. Mane up against Salah. Salah wins that one. Bomba Jeng trying to chest it through to Pap Gay, but a little bit telegraphed or emailed or tweeted, however you want to put it these days. Back in again, out by Yasser Ibrahim, who has had his hands full with Sadio Mane all through the evening. There's another Egyptian down. I thought he'd blown for full time, which is why I was waiting, but uh, not yet. Well, Ali Cissé managed to get the better of uh, Egypt in the final of the Africa Cup of Nations through a penalty shootout, so there's every reason why he should believe they can do it again. Well, the stretch is not needed in the end.
Another yellow card there. Didn't see who th two. Neville Emad. Well, the referee resisted handing out cautions for a long time in this game. There were only three through the first 70, 75 minutes, but uh, his patience has been wearing thinner and thinner. All given away. Senegal here, last chance perhaps. Oh, that's a poor ball. Referee gives the free kick to Egypt. Salah. Can't take it yet, the ball's still rolling. Well, both sides seem to... Well, Egypt seem to have settled for a penalty shootout. I'm not sure that Senegal have just yet. So then, that's it. It is a penalty shootout. And after the final of the Africa Cup of Nations, that went all the way to the end, into the shootout, qualification for the World Cup is going to go the same way. Just one goal tonight. Bulai Diaz poke home after four minutes, cancelling out the own goal by uh, Salu Sis in the fourth minute of the first leg. And it means that here in Senegal, it has finished Senegal 1, Egypt 0. It's 1-1 on aggregate, and penalties are how we are going to decide whether Egypt or Senegal will be taking their place in the finals in Qatar this autumn. A little word there from uh, SML Haddadi, who knew a thing or two about saving penalties, as he chats with and gives advice to Mohamed or to... Uh, Mohamed El Shanawi, who had an excellent time of it in that game. Several really good saves from Ismail Assar and a few times as well from uh, defender Pat Abu Sise, especially from set pieces. Well, the penalty shootout hero in the Africa Cup of Nations hasn't played in these two playoffs. Mohamed Abu Gabal, otherwise known as Gabaski, was the man who performed the heroics of a stand-in capacity. His success in getting them to the final shouldn't be underestimated, and he's now giving his teammate advice on what he probably experienced in that penalty shootout loss in Yaoundé in Cameroon. Lucise will be reminding his team that they've done it once, beating Egypt in a penalty shootout, and they can do it again. Egypt will be desperate not to go the same way once more. Egypt to miss three penalties in the AFCON final. Senegal were perfect with all of theirs, winning it four goals to two. Not sure that the uh, lights going on and off are going to help with their concentration, but they're in the zone, both sides. There's a real look of togetherness from both squads, support staff, coaches, physios. But which of them is going to stand strong longest? The prize is almost within sight. Senegal look like they're praying for a measure of luck once more. Carlos Queiroz looking to head to the World Cup with Egypt. A hug from coach to keeper. The prayers are said, the huddle nearly finished, Senegal almost ready to try to repeat their success from only two months ago in the Continental Final. The cauldron of the Africa Cup of Nations and now another cauldron with the prize of a place in the World Cup so close.
So many chances to beat that man for Senegal. Will Mohamed El Shanawi be the hero? With all of those saves through the 120 minutes pay off here in the shootout. So then the lists have been made. Now all they can do is trust a fate. Small cluster of Egyptian fans hoping that their goalkeeper can come up trumps. Two goalkeepers then heading off to the right-hand side of the pitch by the looks of it. Edouard Mendy. Chelsea superstar. UEFA Champions League winner. Seen as one of the best goalkeepers in the world, if not the best. Up against the successor of uh, Esam El Haddadi's crown in goal for Egypt. Referee again comes to meet the two goalkeepers this time, explaining what he expects from them. Stay on your line. Don't move forward until the ball is kicked. So then, looks like the first kick will be taken by Senegal. Sadio Mane took the first kick in the final of the Africa Cup of Nations and it was saved by Gabaski. The only... So who is it this time? It's the captain. Defensive captain. Koulibaly. Sadio Mane came back from that uh, missed penalty in the game to score the winner in the penalty shootout. Koulibaly took the opener in that final and he takes it again here. The Senegal captain. This time, though, against El Shanawi, not Gabaski. And it's at the bar. Early advantage to Egypt. Remains nil-nil in the shootout. And the Egypt's fans celebrate. Hit it well enough, hit it hard enough, went for the top corner, found the bar instead. Mohamed Salah. Well, he's learned the lesson. He was supposed to take the fifth penalty in the uh, final of the Africa Cup of Nations. He never got to take it. This time he's making sure that he is taking one. He's taking it first. Salah then against Mendy and he's missed it. And he's met with a roar as if Senegal have scored a goal from the home fans. Well, if there was one man in that Egypt squad that you would have put your money on to score a penalty kick, it would be Mohamed Salah. It wasn't even close. Chelsea's Edward Mendy getting the better of Liverpool's Mohamed Salah there. Next up, the man who scored the own goal in the first leg. Salih Cisse. Didn't take a penalty in the shootout in the Africa Cup of Nations final. And he's saved here. 
It's a nervous start. The weight of World Cup qualifying is weighing down on Africa's two best sides. First save made, or second save made. And Gabaski proved a hero for Egypt several times in shootouts in the Africa Cup of Nations. El Shanawi is following suit here in the World Cup qualifying playoff. Edward Mendy's gone to get the ball. Zizo, substitute, two great chances to finish it off in extra time. And he's missed. Unbelievable. Four penalties taken, no goals scored. Well, he tried the little skip there at the end and it, uh, if anything, put him off. Well, it's not often you see a penalty shootout start off with all first four penalties not being successful. Ismailia Saar. Electric in the game, but again, like Zizo, had some guilt edge chances. He was denied by El Shanawi. Will he be able to beat him here in the shootout? Yes, and the first goal goes in with the fifth penalty. Well, he will make himself feel an awful lot better now. Almost down the middle. Shanawi going the wrong way. Next up, Amir El Saleya. Well, the way this penalty shootout's going, you've got to feel that he's got to score this. Got missed three in a row. Mendy prowls back towards his net. He didn't have to make a save in the penalty shootout in the Africa Cup of Nations, Mendy. Will he hear? Oh! Off the bar and in. And it's 1-1. One, one. Well, you don't get much more of a perfect penalty than that. No chance for Mendy. But that only just went in. Carlos Kerosh. Nothing he can do now. There's a Bomba Deng comes forward. Another substitute. Had a half chance during the game, did the Marseille man. And he scores, probably the best penalty we've seen. And Senegal go 2-1 up in front. He tries to get the crowd wound up. I don't think they could get wound up anymore anyway. Sent the goalkeeper the wrong way and then sent it high into the opposite corner. Mustafa Mohamed is next up for Egypt. Started the first game in Cairo, substitute today. Didn't really have an awfully big influence on proceedings. Not in an attack sense, anyway. Can he make it 2-2? No, he can't!
And for the first time, Senegal now have a real lead in the shootout. Bombardeng put them in front. Edouard Mendy keeps them there. Not everybody can watch in the Senegal bench. So then, forward comes Sadio Mane. This goes in, Senegal are going to the World Cup. Fifth in the line of penalty takers, as he was in the final of the Africa Cup of Nations. He was successful then against Gabaski. Can he be successful now against El Shanawi? How cool and calm and collected is he? Sadio Mane sends Senegal to the World Cup for the third time in their history. And the first time they've done it back to back. Africa's champions are going to Qatar. The top side in Africa confirm their dominance. 4-2 the win in the shootout in the Africa Cup of Nations final. 3-1 does it in the World Cup playoffs. El Shanawi couldn't get there. Egypt lose against Senegal for the second time in two months. A nervous, a nerve tingling, a nerve retching experience. But now the high of success. And the 50,000 supporters here inside the Stadme Mbalaiwade in Diamnia Dio, their brand new stadium. And they celebrate sending their team to the World Cup. Mohamed Salah will be crestfallen as he's escorted off the pitch. Calmness personified. One Liverpool man leaves in disappointment, the other, the hero of his nation, Sadio Mane, blasting it down the middle. And the man whose penalty won the Africa Cup of Nations is now sending them to the world's top competition, the FIFA World Cup. And Senegal will be a threat to anybody in that competition, make no mistake about it. The Lions of Taranga rediscovering their roar under Ali Cissé, a hero as a player and now becoming a legend as a coach. Bedlam, but full of joy. The international competitive debut of this stadium will be remembered for many a year. And the current generation now putting themselves in the same conversation as those greats of the past from 2002, including their coach, Ali Cissé. Henri Camara. Are oh, there greater things ahead? The rise up the FIFA rankings will continue for Senegal. A team that didn't know how to win titles is now coming up trumps in all of the big games.
No fourth World Cup for Egypt then. It's been a sobering couple of months for them after reaching the final and losing to Senegal on penalties. It's happened again to them in World Cup qualifying. Here we'll look back at those chances for Zizo with a fair amount of regret. But they were outplayed in the 120 minutes. They largely depended on defence and the odd break forward. Senegal outnumbering there with a huge amount of shots that they were unable to take advantage of. And here is proof of that, 25 of them. Only five for Egypt, only one was on target, nine on target. El Shanawi was one of the main reasons why those didn't translate into goals. And in the end, Senegal through on penalties, beating Egypt for the second time. Kuate celebrates, surrounded by officials, like the gladiators of old. The modern-day gladiators are footballers, and Senegal are at the top of their game at the moment. Edouard Mendy didn't have to save anything in the Africa Cup of Nations shootout, but his save here, pivotal. Well, they'll be celebrating here and then through into Dakar throughout the night and around the country. An amazing spring, this, for Senegal. They will remember forever.